Today I'm going to show you how to zip and unzip files on Windows 8. It's pretty much the same as Windows 7 and everything before, but I thought I'd make a specific tutorial for it. So if you have a few files that you want to put into a zipped folder, like a folder that's like name something and then dot zip, so it can be uncompressed later, like something you want to upload to a, a website, anything like that, then uh, this is how you do it. First select the files that you want to zip up. I'm going to use these files right here and after you select them just right click on any of them it doesn't matter which one and go to send to and then there's an option right there for compressed zip folder so then uh, as soon as you hit that it's gonna create a zip in the same directory that you're in and uh, it's gonna come up with the name of whatever you right clicked on to create it but it has all the files in there and you can just change the name right now so I just call that super secret stuff if felt like it and then I have a zip folder. And if you want to then unzip it, or if you have a zip folder that you want to unzip, then all you have to do is right click on it and say extract all. And then if you want to put it in a certain folder, you can change this, like browse and then put it a certain place. Uh, the way it comes up automatically is it's going to create a folder with the same name as this and have all the files in it. So that's what this super secret stuff here is. It's going to be a new folder created on the desktop that's going to have everything that was in this. So I'll hit extract, and it extracts it, and as you can see it created this folder. So even though I zipped this stuff up and then put it in and in, zipped into this folder and then unzipped it, it still creates this folder. So I wouldn't recommend putting all your stuff into a folder before you zip it like this and then zipping the folder because then there's just going to be another folder inside this folder once they unzip it. So I would always recommend just zipping up what you have to zip up. and. Uh, as you can see, all the stuff is in there, and yeah, it just takes a few seconds. All that's built right into Windows. You don't need any special software to do it. If you want a program to do it that has a few more options, then what I would recommend is 7-Zip, and I'll probably do a tutorial on that pretty soon.